SML Movie Review, Jeffy's Trophy. So, the video opens with Jackie Chu giving out some trophy awards. He gives a GPA trophy award to Cody. Next, he gives a trophy award to PJ Kurensaw for being so cool. As well as he gives the biggest trophy award to the quickest kid that leaves class the earliest when school ends to Joseph. The trophy doesn't really seem to match what Joseph is getting the award for. As Junior points out, it looks like Jackie Chu is just handing random trophies to people to sort of get rid of them. Jeffy, of course, states that he wants a trophy as well and says it is unfair for him not to receive a trophy as well. So, Jeffy, being unhappy at the end of the day, goes home and cries to Marvin and Rose about not having a trophy. The way Jeffy cried in this episode was kind of funny. Rose tells Marvin that he should buy a trophy for Jeffy in the hopes that it will make Jeffy feel better. Marvin does buy a trophy for $600. He buys a random trophy that's big and tells Jeffy that it's for being the biggest crybaby. That it is first place that he gets for that. But as it turns out, it is a random bowling trophy. And this will be important later on. Now, Brooklyn Guy mistakes Jeffy as a bowling king due to the trophy that he sees. Brooklyn Guy actually came by because he needed somebody to help them out with a tournament against his mom, his wife, and his brother Jonathan. So, Brooklyn Guy is very excited and takes Jeffy along with him. Not questioning on why Jeffy has a huge trophy, just sort of assume that if he's got that trophy, it must be for a reason. So, Jonathan, of course, makes more really weird, cringy cuck jokes, as usual, talking about wanting to make love to Brooklyn Guy's wife. I've said it once, I've said it a million times, I don't like Jonathan as a character, I just think he's a very bland character. And he's got one joke to him. And that's pretty much it. <clears throat> so, of course, Chef PP being the person of reason here, expresses that he's worried about Jeffy. Likely because he knows the history of Jeffy. He's known Jeffy for a few years now. And knows just how incompetent, to put it in a nice way, Jeffy has been about most other things. So what would make bowling any different? Unfortunately... Brooklyn Guy is not very good at bowling himself, and as it turns out, his mom is quite the natural at it, being able to get a strike. It all comes down to the idea that if Jeffy doesn't do great, they are fudged. But again, Brooklyn Guy is so sure that Jeffy is going to be able to win this off for them, that he bets everything, and I mean everything. That Jeffy will win against his mom. Unfortunately, of course, Jeffy does terrible and tells him honestly he doesn't know what the fudge he's doing. And this is when Brooklyn Guy knows that crap has hit the fan. After losing, Brooklyn Guy comes over to yell at Marvin about the misleading trophy. He tells a story about Billy Bowling Hands. And in this story, he talks about how Billy Bowling Hands just seems to one-up him at every turn. Whether it be bowling or boxing or being able to get the admiration of people. So Brooklyn Guy comes up with this, let's call it clever, for lack of a better term, idea. That he will challenge Billing Bowling Hands to swim in a pool. Because he knows that with those heavy weights on his heads, he's going to sink to the bottom and not be able to do anything about it. Billy Bowling Hands drowns. But it has the opposite effect of what Brooklyn Guy was hoping. Instead of getting rid of a potential adversary, now they put the name of the pool into his favor as a way of memorializing Billy Bowling Hands forever. And Brooklyn Guy is also blamed for his death, rightfully so. It turns out that the uh, commissioner comes by and announces that his mom has tested positive for steroids. And because of that... The win that they had was overturned. Brooklyn Guy gets everything but his money back. And the reason because that is because that was unrelated to the cheating. 
when he betted his money. The video comes to a close after Brooklyn Guy says that Marvin needs to dispose of the trophy. Now, what am I going to give this video? Well, I'm going to go ahead and just give it a 5 out of 10. It actually felt like one of those videos that are just plain. There was nothing really remarkable about it. It had average pacing, average everything. Sometimes, what you'll notice with videos is you'll come across something that's a nothing burger. And when I say nothing burger, I mean that it doesn't really advance the plot of a story any more than what it had from the beginning. Now, don't get it twisted. Not everything needs to be a Shakespearean classic. In fact, there are many great episodes in shows such as South Park or Family Guy that don't really do continuity or serialization. But when we see callbacks, the reason they work so well to certain episodes is because it allows us to be like, oh my goodness, I remember that, and to make sense of stuff. You see, we as readers and as people who watch and consume media in general, we want some sort of sense of understanding about how the world works. It's what video games try to do very well, is to create a sense of world building. Because you want to be invested in the characters you have, so that way you'll tune in each, each episode to see what new wacky or crazy things or serious situations that they get themselves into. Because if you're not invested in something, then the question becomes, why do I care about anything that is happening here? And the answer is that you won't. So with these episodes, these aren't particularly damaging by any means, but there's also just, I don't know, you could forget about this episode ever happening. There wasn't anything of noteworthy mention. Everybody was just about average. Again, nothing burgers are just in the sense that there wasn't really anything to say. Everybody was in character, which is great. There were some funny moments of Jeffy I genuinely liked. That he was able to, you know, he just said, I don't know what the fudge I'm doing. It, it makes sense that Jeffy would be upset because he also wants attention. But that's really all you can say about the episode, not much more. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys.